Good morning everybody. I am Prem Sagar from Second Andresh. Today I am going to tell you a story about when the lion came back to life. There lived four friends in a village. Three of them were much learned but absolutely lacked in the common sense. The fourth one also not much learned. He had a lot of common sense. He at least knew what was good and what was bad and was practical to a extent. Once the three learned men decided to travel the far of towns to make their opportunity. They were not ready to take their old friend with them because he was not learned. But ultimately agreed to do so, considering that he was a childhood friend. Soon four friends set out a long journey. They walked from one place to another, looking for an opportunity for the Amas world. Once while they were passing by the dense forest, they came across the heap of bones lying under a tree. Three, one of them observed the bones and said, Here is a fine opportunity to test our knowledge. These, these are the bones of a lion. Let's bring this lion back to life. So they assembled the bones together to make it the skeleton of a lion and gigant Zamandras. <coughs> the second man put blue and flesh into the skeleton and looked like a lion but lifeless. <coughs> the third man got up to do the final act of putting the life into the lifeless body of that animal. As he started chanting the mantras like Ram, Boom, Ring, Boom, Boom, Ram, Boom, Ring, Boom, Boom, like this. The four friends shouted, Please don't do this. It might prove dangerous to bring this beast back to life. Shut up, you fool, said all these three friends. What do you know in learning the knowledge? Better keep your mouth shut. Wait a minute, please, said the fourth friend, and quickly climbed up near by the tall tree. His three friends long. <laughs> they put a life into the left leg. They put a life into the lifeless body of an animal. Run, 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 run. As soon as the huge lion came back to life, he drove loudly and killed all the three lion men. As soon as the huge lion came back to life, he drove loudly and killed all the three lion men. It ate their flesh and disappeared behind the thick bushes. The moral of this story is knowledge without common sense is useless. useless. Thank you, thank you, thank you, one and all.